we're back to that generic tech podcast. I'm Timothy Matthews. I'm Vinny Masidi. And after like over a month hiatus, we're back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Crazy, crazy life. Life gets in the way sometimes, and there's nothing you can do about it. But I have the best mug in the world. That's a good mug. He has a Spider-Man mug that says Vinny on it. Yeah. That's awesome. So you haven't watched the movie yet. No, I haven't watched the movie yet. Uh, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, and I just yelled at Timmy before because he was going to give me spoilers. It was good. And I don't do spoilers, man. And uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. I've heard good things. I've heard like people like like it's got good reviews, and people like it and seem to like it. Uh, Timmy likes it, so that's a good sign because Tim's very anal about things. I'm very anal. He's very anal. It's super. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to watch it sometime this weekend. So, this weekend? Okay, so we can talk about it later after. Yeah, we'll we'll we will we'll talk about it on the show. By the way, did you um just a little off topic from tech, but did you see that they that they announced Iron Man 3? Yeah, so that they, yeah, cuz uh they're doing Comic-Con right now. Yes, and that was cool. Yep. And they they announced uh Iron Man 3. I like Iron Man. Um do you like Iron Man, Tim? I wasn't really into Iron Man like in the comics, but like the movies came out and I started enjoying it, so Okay, I, I think Robert Downey Jr. is like the perfect role for that. Yeah, you know what? If they if he were to ever to like not do it, uh, there'd hard. be problems. It would be really hard to replace him. The, there'd be problems. Yeah, yeah. So we missed a whole bunch of crap. Yes, we did. So what do want? What do we want to start first? We we had E three. We can want to yeah. run through E three a bit because there wasn't really that much. No, there wasn't much at all. Well, um, actually, I think the more interesting uh, presentation was uh, Microsoft and Xbox. Yeah. Uh, with their uh, the Xbox smart. Glass. Uh, the Smart Glass or something like that, right? That's cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, yeah. yeah. It's like so, it's using uh, like any kind of device to remote control the Xbox, from what I understand. Yeah, which is nice, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, obviously no new announcements, and I didn't think it was going to happen of like a new generation Xbox or PS3. Uh, we know about the Wii U already. We know about that for a while. Uh, that looks pretty cool. The Pikmin uh, three, the five Pik- one. Pikmin three looked really good. Like mm-hmm. the textures and all that stuff, it looked pretty yeah. damn good. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I mean, other than that, that that's pretty much it. Yeah, I wasn't really impressed with E3 this year. No. Uh, like I said. Um, what did it, what did Sony even announce anything? Because I'm I'm a well, Sony fan. Like well, I like I love PlayStation. You know what takes me off? That's that Sony game. That's a complete but a complete rip off of Smash Brothers. Oh, you were angry about that one. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Oh my God! I saw that. I'm like, they even showed the gameplay, and I'm like, are you? It's exactly the same thing. Oh, it's a complete rip off. Like so at, no one they even try to hide it. it. No, no one can <laughs> deny that. It's it's 100 yeah. percent rip off. So if you like Sony characters, says whatever, um, and you like Smash Brothers, then voila. But I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. No. Yeah, like, like I said, I uh, wasn't, wasn't impressed with uh, the Series E3. No. Uh, I'm going to put Sony in last place, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, w- I would agree with that. And Nintendo... Uh, kind of... in, in, terms, in terms of uh, the E3 presentation. Yeah, because you want to know something? I don't understand how Nintendo like released stuff before the presentation... They released nothing during the presentation, and then they released stuff after the presentation, like the 3DS XL. I think they could have yeah. put that in the presentation. They didn't. But like, they did it. Okay. I don't think they care anymore. Do they care anymore? I don't think they care. Mm. They're, they're, they're kind of in an identity crisis right now. It's yeah, like, it's, it's, gaming is going in a weird place. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not, no. it's not like how it used to be where you have to make your own hardware in order to push out games. Or yeah, um, you know, like... I'm always going to be a hardcore. I don't believe in tablet comp- uh, gaming no, or, but, but or I, smartphone gaming. Eventually, all the, there's got to be like one console that will play everything. And it's going to be like it's going to be a standard or something like that. You know, it, mm. it, it'll probably eventually hit that way. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe the partners are going to have to get companies are going to have to get together and maybe partner up. Uh, but it, like, like as for me, like I, I'm I'm a pure gamer. Like I got to have my, I want my controller. I don't want to move much. Actually, I don't want to move at all. 
as a matter of fact. <laughs> I don't want to like do the connect stuff and or or the Wii's. Like it's fun. You know, like you play like bowling for a bit. But like I'm not that kind of type of gamer, you know. And I think I think I think like I, and and you know I, I consider you as as like you know you're we're the same type of gamer. Yeah. Right. I guess so. So yeah, uh, you're a little more fruity because you like uh, you like the Wii a lot. <laughs> no, I, but I, I like I like too. Nintendo. I like Nintendo a lot. <laughs> I, I like the franchises. If you put Mario yeah. anywhere else, I'll probably buy that console anyway. But. Yeah, uh, but me too. I like like I'm classic like that too. Like I love my Mario's. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but um, uh, you know, like I, I'm I'm the type of gamer where I where like that's what I grew up with. You know, yeah. like like my uncle's generation. He's ten years older than me. He he grew up more with like cars and like sound systems and stuff. That's exactly. It. And 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 I I grew up with video games and and that was it. Like I like that's that our was the thing. My generation. That's our that was our thing. Like uh, you know the mid eighties. That was Nintendo, the thing. Exactly mid eighties nineties. Super Nintendo was like uh, was like huge and it was crazy and 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 I, I think my type of gamer now is like on the decline, you know, because because yeah. you you're ha- you you have now all these other types of gamers and you have the tablet gaming and the Angry Birds and all that stuff, uh, which which I look and I'm like that's not gaming, to me that's not gaming at all. It's casual. That's what it is. It's yeah, like like I I have Angry Birds on my Windows phone, right? And like I'll play it when I'm like on the <laughs> on the washroom or something, but I, I'm not gonna just or, or like when yeah. I'm lying. No, you don't. You want to sit down and immerse yourself into Angry Birds. Yeah, because there's no get, immersion I, in Angry Birds. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you get addicted a bit, but then after that, it's like I don't know. It's not like an immersion like when you're playing Legend of Zelda and you're there and you're like, oh my god, I gotta keep playing. Or whatever, exactly, you know? exactly. Anyway, yeah, right. so that was E3. E3 was Three. like kind of a bust. Yeah. But, oh well. But it'll make things more interesting next year. I hope. I think next year we're gonna see. Um, I guess we could call this our E next year E three predictions. We're probably gonna. I, I think that's where they're probably gonna come all out and uh, announce the new the new consoles. Yeah. Well, the Wii U is gonna be out, so that's gonna be interesting. Well, how that's gonna plan out and how that's gonna work. I well, the te- it's, it's, that's the same game. strategy from Nintendo, right? That's the, the they're doing this. They came out with the Wii first. Uh, no, yeah. Xbox came. No, out for, Xbox came out. Xbox with came the, out like at least a year ahead of time. Yeah, they came out two thousand five. Yeah, no, the, the hook with the Wii was it was like it wasn't it was as cheap. expensive. It was cheap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It was Xbox cheap was. and it was revolutionary because we never saw that type of gaming before. Yes. Anyway. Yes. But uh, no, it's. Um, I don't think the Wii U is going to do anything. To be honest with you, it's just it's just the core franchise is going to hold me from getting it. Like I'm going to get that because I just want to play. Zelda, Metroid, and Mario. Well, are you going to get it? Oh, I'm probably going to get it, because I'm an idiot like that. I'm, oh, there a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for Nintendo. I well, have I'm, probably gonna get it too. I'm probably going to get it too. Yeah. Um, I have all three right now. The last game I played for Wii was Super Mario Brothers. Like the... the Galaxy? You know, the, no, 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 no. Like the one you could play all four players on one screen. Oh, yeah, that's a fun game. Seriously? The, I, new, the new Super Mario, whatever it was called. Yeah, that was fun. That, yeah, okay, what try, try getting four people. It's just like you don't get past the first level because you're just killing each no, other. <laughs> exactly. It's a disaster. <laughs> and they knew that. And they knew that. Like you just, like, yeah. uh, my girlfriend gets ticked off all the time. I, t- I pick her up and I throw her into a pit. And she gets like, yeah, you I, jerk. You're not a team player. No, no, no. And she leaves the room and gets all ticked off. I, I do that all the time as well. <laughs> I always end up picking up and shooting her off, like you know where the lava is. Or, or the best is when you hit the question mark. There's two things that come out. Like if you're two players, there's two things that come out. You grab all of them, and the sh- yeah. other person's still small and gets nothing. Or when yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. Anyway, yeah, that was a rat hole. But uh, no, but that, uh, that was cool. it, yeah, that was funny. So, um, next big thing on the plate, I think, is the Microsoft Surface, and I really want to talk about this because. To be honest with you, I am so excited about this thing. Are you really excited about this? <laughs> Don't lie to me. Cause I'm I... not. I'm pumped up. Like, I'm willing to give away my MacBook and just get this. Come on. Come on. It, it, That's it, recorded. That, yeah. we, have on, we have that on tape. Like, I wouldn't give it up. I would, I would use that for work. Seriously. The, the, wow. the, 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 the Surface? Come on. Think of it. You have your Windows 8 Pro Slate laptop that has a uh, Slate to, uh, tablet. That has like a keyboard as a cover, and it's an yeah. i7. Yeah. 
Done. <laughs> it runs full Windows and it's a tablet. It's done. Yeah, no? that's it's. Yeah, I agree with you 100 million percent. When I first saw it, I, I, I didn't expect. I really didn't expect them to to do that. It's just, I had no clue Microsoft was gonna. They had to because hey, did you see everything else that was coming out except for like the the that laptop that had like a double screen? Everything else sucked. Yeah, the, the it was only like thing. Optimistic. Well, which, it was like, what's cool? Which tablet was I waiting to get? Little, I don't know. I was because we, we didn't know, right? We didn't. We didn't know. We didn't well, there's, actually. There's, oh no! I know which one I want. The tent. Mm. The the, the 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 yoga pad the yeah, Lenovo the yoga yo- pad that's it not the tai chi yeah the, the tai chi no the tai chi is the one I was ta- I was I was, I was uh, pretty crazy yeah. about yeah the, the the yoga pad I was actually really excited about but yeah. now no I'm gonna I get the surface anymore. It's, surface looks pretty freaking there's be, good there's gonna be no crap on it yeah first no of all, zero crap there's gonna be zero crap you're gonna get clean windows 7 windows 8 installation off microsoft certified hardware so you know it's always gonna be supported with greatest drivers ever for this thing plus it's ultra portable and you it has hdmi out you can plug it to a freaking other tv and life is good yeah. <laughs> it has usb 3 on it yeah. i'm not talking about the windows uh the surface rt edition i'm talking about the wind the, the surface the pro edition that's going yeah, to come out a little later, fun. right? That's going to have the full desktop and can run everything. Uh, this thing was like three to six, uh, three months after or something like that. Three I, or six months I, after. I will get after. that. So I, you actually want to get that? Yes. Timmy, is that a want? That's definitely a want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This th- seriously, because right now I carry my iPad and I carry my, my MacBook. And my yeah. MacBook, I have to, in, in order, I love my MacBook for... Excuse me for productivity stuff like uh, br- browsing the web, uh, writing emails, and also like Skype, Evernote, uh, you know, Pages. I like Pages compared to Word, but I always have to run because I'm an IT and I'm an IT consultant. And that's life. I have to use Windows in order to run Visio because not Visio is an industry standard, and also uh, you know all my apps that are for IT stuff. It's all Windows based. No matter how you put it, and I always have to run a Windows 8, a Windows 7 VM in order to to use that as well. So I always thought it was the best of both worlds because I had both. But yeah. you you want to know something? I have an iPad. If I just carry both of them with me, life is good. Seriously, life is good. Mm-hmm. I I I I'm really I can't wait for this thing. It's, it just makes all everyone else has to do that and better now. That's what makes me even more excited. Like Acer and freaking uh, Asus and uh, Lenovo and HP, they were all doing their little dinky things, and all of a sudden they saw that, and they're going to get a kick in the ass from Microsoft, and now they have to beat that. I think that's, that's, that's what the, the thing. Microsoft want to do, though, because I, I was reading a lot of uh, you know like like message boards and, and articles. It's like Microsoft had to sit down with the partners and said, you, you guys got to make some better stuff, man. It's it's ridiculous. And Cause that, that, that's the mercy. That's and then the they came out and, and and did it, and and then they're they're like, well, this is what we're talking about. We want something like this, so they had to come and do it. But now, who's actually making the Surface? I have no idea. So you know, like the the, the Nexus Seven, which we're also going to talk about. Uh, right. The Nexus Seven, which, which is really Google branded. It's Google. That's Google's uh, seven-inch tablet, and. But we know that Asus is making it. I, I say Asus. I don't say Asus. I don't know. I say it's, Asus. It's, what I think it's supposed to be Asus. Like I, used to I know. Say I, Asus it's before, pretty... but I think it's Asus. I think it is Asus. Hey. But I've always said Asus. I know. Anyway, whatever. So Asus. Okay, I'll, I'll say Asus just for who cares. Okay. So, <laughs> but we know that Asus makes it. We know, like it's there. Yeah. But I we don't we haven't heard any like who's making the ta- the the but, surface. We okay. Don't know. But like who? Because I you know what I think it could be just Microsoft because. Who makes the the Xbox? Uh, well, in, in I get they get their graphics just from Nvidia. Yeah, I know, but I that's, that's the or gra- ATI. Yeah, but that's the graphics from. No, it's probably Nvidia because uh, because I think the Wii is from ATI. I know the casings from Foxconn. I know, but I mean, it's not like you know, like like the iPad, like the motherboard Foxconn too. No, I'm just saying, like. No, there's no other brand that's making it for Microsoft. It's Microsoft making it. I guess. You know, mass producing it, right? So I'm pretty sure they can probably, they can pull it off themselves. Like it's well, by possibly. Microsoft. Like all the mice and everything else, you know? Oh, that's right. They do. I forgot about that. They, they, and, they, they I'm sorry. Stuff. Yeah. 
I bought a Microsoft, and I never bought Microsoft mice because I thought they were crap. They are the best mice ever. Yeah, they're good. They are good mice. Wow. I bought this, like, um, I forget the name of it. It's just like, a, it's a budget um, uh, wireless mouse and keyboard. But they're so ergonomic, and oh, yeah. the, the scroll wheel on it is incredible. Oh, that's what I have here. Microsoft keyboard. That's Microsoft. the one I have. Yeah. That's the one. It's the wireless one, and it has, like, it's like, well, it's like this. Yeah, let me see your mouse. Oh, yeah, I, mean, that's I don't exactly use a mouse because I have, I have another. Oh, actually, this is a Microsoft mouse, too. This is a gamer Microsoft mouse. Well, yeah. You can adjust, like, the, the, the speed. Ooh, and everything. Fancy. Yeah, and it has buttons on the side, whatever. That's what I thought. Yeah, I That's what I thought I could play Modern Warfare, until I realized I sucked at Modern Warfare. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, the sur- I can't wait for the surface. This this thing, can, can release it now. I don't care. I, I don't care if it's half done. I'll, I'll yeah. finish it up. I don't care. I yeah, want- I want. I want. I want to get the pro. Uh, the pro. Yeah, I want it. I want it too. Like badly. So yeah, that, that that keyboard blew my mind away though. When, when they, I, I wasn't expecting that. Like when they had, oh, the, that was cool. Yeah, that yeah. was really. Cool. They got like two yeah. different kinds of keyboards though. They got one that's just like touch kind, and there's one that's actually chiclet. Mm. Yeah, I don't. How the heck is that gonna work? I don't know, but I may I, want the chiclet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think me, yeah, me too. I think I just, I, to, yeah, just uh, to get that 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 touch back, you know. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so, I mean, uh, the, the Surface, okay, so just for anyone else to know, not doesn't know, Microsoft released, is releasing its own tablet, and it has pretty much all the specs that you're going to need, like USB 3, uh, I'm talking about the Pro version, because there's going to be two versions, there's an RT version, and there's a Pro version. RT version is run based off uh, Tegra 3, I think, or something like that, that uh, will have a USB 2 uh, port on it, and uh, some other stuff, but... It, it's going to be running Windows 8 RT, which is going to come with Office 15, which is uh, another topic we're going to talk about. But uh, it's going to come with that, but it, it'll, you can't actually use any desktop apps. Um, the one we're talking about is the Windows 8 Pro, which is going to cost a little bit more from what, we're, what, we're, what we know. Uh, and it's a full-fledged PC in the same form factor. Yeah. And it's an i7 processor. It's That's... Ballin right there. Is it an i7 or an i5? Uh, I could be mistaken. You know what? I'm just saying stuff sometimes. I think it's an i5. That would make more but sense. But who, who knows? There's probably going to be an i7 model available if you're, like, crazy. Uh, price predictions. Price predictions? The, ta- the, yeah. the RT tablet has to be, like, 499 Has to be. It cannot yeah. be more. Yeah, and uh, four ninety nine. No, it can't be more. No, it, it can't a, be more than four than four ninety nine. It has a micro SD slot and also has a micro HD video, with two uh, two times two MIMO antennae. Ooh, MIMO. Um, how much do you think the Pro version is going to cost? Oh, like ninety nine hundred, anywhere between let's say eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, it's for sure. It's it's a bit heavier too. It's nine hundred three grams. But whatever. Yeah. Whatever. This Are is... people going to buy these things, Tim? Okay, if they... if. Okay, I'll tell you something. You have to market it right, right? That's exactly it. Um, uh, the Surface that has Windows RT? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. You want to know why? Because the only way you can compete with the iPad in that kind of level of a tablet... Yeah. Is if you price it cheaply. Okay. Uh, with the Windows Surface, Windows 8 Pro Surface, the one that has the actual PC, that uh, will actually sell more. And I'll tell you why. Because people that, that will get a tablet and also have a laptop, they will get this instead. Because this is, in effect, a laptop and a tablet all together. It's the best of both worlds right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I can't, like, it, how, how can I say it? 
the, it's the, the, it, the 8 Pro, like, if someone's going to ask me, I need a new Windows laptop, I'll tell them to get a Surface. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. it makes no sense to get anything else. Well, I don't know. I mean, what if you want a bigger screen? You want a bigger screen? You just plug another screen to it. Like, I mean, how? 10.6 uh, inches. Yeah, okay. You're right. It is kind of small. But everyone's going for these netbooks. These uh, Ultrabooks, sorry. That, oh, no, they're 14 inches. You lose they're four 14 inches. inches. You lose four they're 14, inches. 15 inch now. You lose four inches, but it's a tablet. Yeah, so you're making uh, yeah, uh, 10, 10 inch screen for me, personally, is not big enough. I want big screens. Uh, however, I would get the Surface. <laughs> I would. I just, I just I need to get it. I honestly, you know what? Because what, I would only use a 10.6 inch screen when it's a tablet form or when I'm on the go and I have nothing else and I need something. But um, that's pretty crazy once you think about it. Is I could just hook it up to my screen. That's it. And it's a full-fledged Windows PC. That's, that's the beauty of it. And I could do dual screen sharing. You're, you're and... done. You're done. You, you can make it just it, – it can be just a tower if you want. It's a portable tower. You just plug your screen in and mouse keyboard done. Yeah, because that thing, that's true. That's got an i5. It's got 4 gigs of RAM or something like that. It's, it's going to have an SSD of 64 gigs or 128 gigs. I have the specs right in front of me. Yeah. And even has a pen too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And has a mini display port too. So it'll support high – it's not even HDMI. It's mini display port, which means it can support higher resolutions. That's crazy. With, a, with an SD slot and yeah. USB 3. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What, what, what else are you going to get? Wow. I, it, it didn't hit me like that, actually. When I, first, I guess I was too overwhelmed by the, the announcement. Yeah. Now I'm really thinking about it. It's got USB 3, SD expandable storage, right? Uh, what do you is mean? it expandable storage? Uh, I, don't, SD... I, don't, I don't know if you can open it up and put more. No, storage. no, I mean with the SD card. Oh, yeah, you can put an SD card. It has USB 3. You get this. And it's got USB 3. You get this. You, yeah, that's right. Holy cow. Yeah. And you have a terabyte. Boom. Oh, <laughs> Boom. Boom, USB 3. And it's almost as fast as your SD. Well, it's not almost as fast, sir, but it's, but it's, it's fast. Still, it's still going to be like as if it's all, it's almost SATA speed, no? Wait, 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 USB 3 is what, 5 gigs? I forget, but it's going to be fast. faster than what's spinning in here. Yeah. So the, the transport is not going to be the problem. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to put a I'll, I'll put a little surface link in the show notes with yeah. the video. Did you see the video they made for it? Of, of course. I, I was all yeah. gaga over this thing. But like, it, <laughs> the only thing is that it, it's it is bigger. It's 13.5 millimeters. It's thin. Mm. Um, it is uh, 903 grams. Uh, the other one is uh, 9.33 uh, 9.3 millimeters thin, and 676 grams. Huh. It is bigger, but yeah. if you think but, of it as you're buying a laptop, yeah, it's the best laptop. It's the best Windows laptop, period. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's better than the clamshell because the clamshell is super thin. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm psyched for this thing. Yeah, uh, wow. So Tim is psyched about Windows 8 and Surface. And we have it, we, it's recorded. That's crazy. <laughs> but I love how it's like a magnet uh, cover too. Yeah, and the keyboard just like snaps on and it's a keyboard. I was not expecting that keyboard. No, that was I was my not. Mind, actually. It, it's the, that announcement was... And like, it's got a trackpad on it. Too. Yeah, it has a trackpad too. That's something to consider as well. It does have a trackpad. So it's like it's actually a laptop. Yeah, like ten inches is like over. Yeah, I, mean, I could see. I could see myself using it's, that. It's a little bit bigger than the iPad. Mm. It's a little bit bigger, and you know what? It's, if for a portable device, it's perfect when you're going somewhere, and then when you're sitting down at your desk, you just plug the screen. That's it. And done. You're done. Wow. Oh yeah, it's 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 gonna be awesome, and and also it's, you know Windows Eight is gonna be running a lot better on this thing than most other things. Yeah, because it's by Microsoft. Like, if they screw that up, like that—that's the only thing that can screw this thing up. If this thing is terrible in performance, it better not be. <laughs> That—that's uh... that, that's the only thing. If it's really terrible and it doesn't, and Windows Eight doesn't really run well on it, that would be the biggest screw up ever. Yeah, it would be. It would be one hundred percent screw up. Anyway, so that's right. it. Well, let's move on. We spoke enough about Surface. Whoa, uh, I just got news. What? It's more IT. What's up? 
Oh, wow. So, VMware CEO Paul Moritz just left. He left? Out as CEO after four years. Yep, he's gone. Wow. All right, sorry about that. That's okay. That, but that's, that, that's, that's really big news in uh, the more in the IT? IT pro world. I was, so, the, I was so looking to forward to, go, to meeting this guy. Yeah, why well, you're going, going to VMware? You're going? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going uh, at the end of August. I'm going to San Where? Francisco. What? I'm going to San Francisco. You are? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to San Francisco and like... Uh, well, we're, uh, uh, we're extending you? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. it's, you're going to go see... You're going to go to the VMware world? Uh, what's it called again? The VMworld. VMworld? Yeah. Oh, cool. I had the tickets already bought and everything. Oh, nice. I have the whole pass. Sweet. I just got to organize my, uh, my breakout sessions. But yeah. Cool. No, anyway, so yeah, that, that was pretty IT right there. But like, no, this, this guy pretty much founded VMware. And like, he pretty much brought it to where it is today, which is like 90, like, actually, I think 100% of Fortune 100's IT infrastructure is running VMware. I think he got wow. to that. Yeah. Yeah, remember when it was like nothing? <laughs> yeah. Remember? Anyway, so anyway, no, no one was running virtualization. I don't know. People yeah, lived. exactly. I don't know how people lived. Anyway, so. Times have changed. That's exactly it. So, uh, another important thing that Microsoft announced uh, was that uh, the Windows uh, 8, Windows Phone 8, mm-hmm. which was very interesting. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. But uh, okay, so what what they announced was that um, Microsoft is releasing a new phone OS, and it's not upgradable for any other previous version. The reason no. why is because they pretty much put Windows in Windows Phone Eight. They put like pretty much the kernel and all that stuff into it, so it's like you have the, the driver support is there, uh, uh, everything is there now. But it's part of Windows. It's not its own separate entity. It's not based off CE anymore. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. But it could be a bad thing as well. Yes. So it, it means viruses can be, it's very easy to write a virus because all the viruses that worked before are gonna, probably going to work on the, on the phone. That's crazy. I think they should, uh, I don't know, they wanted the whole um, one yeah. operating system, one unification, uh, unification thingy. It looks cool though, right? Like on that phone, you have like the it, it's like Windows Seven on on uh, Windows Phone Seven on on drugs, pretty much. Yeah, you know what? It's, what's cool about it is that you can make cheap hardware now. You can make very very cheap hardware because it's it's based off components that are mass produced already. So anyone can make a phone, pretty much, if they really really wanted to. We should make our own phone. Yes, the generic. We'll call the call it the Me Phone. The Me Phone. We'll call it the generic phone. The the Mi Phone Plus, the Mi Phone Mi Phone Pro, Mi Phone Plus 4G, Plus 4G. Uh, what's that other one called? Epic. There? That real fast one. That real fast. Skyrocket. <laughs> there you go. Skynet. Skynet. The Windows Phone Skynet. <laughs> yeah, but um, what also so the all the phones that you bought today from Windows Phone are not upgradable because understandably oh. it's a totally different thing. But what they did is that yeah. they announced Windows Phone 7.8, and the emphasis for 8 is means like you're pretty much getting the, the user features of Windows Phone 8 onto that, which means like resizing tiles pretty much. Yeah, and other pretty, yeah you're, getting, you're getting, at least you're not getting totally left out in the dark. Yeah. Like if I would keep my focus, my Samsung focus, um, uh, yeah, it would be appreciated. I understand that, okay, it can't handle Windows Phone 8 because apparently there's a lot more into Windows Phone 8 than Windows Phone 7. Uh, I, I get it. Listen, it's just they have to do that, and I, I, I see what they want to do. They want to make a, a unified, you know, what was that, Windows on uh, Windows Everywhere? Yeah. Bomber kept crying out, Windows, Windows Everywhere, Everywhere. Windows Everywhere. Rah! Ba- <laughs> Rah! The guy's a <laughs> lunatic. Yeah, I want to meet him. He, he, I don't care. He, he is a lunatic. I want to meet Bomber. But um, <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I get it, man. I, I get it. Um, however, Tim, I have to tell you something. that 
Um, I'm probably getting an iPhone. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you be one of those trendy people with the iPhones. You're gonna be yeah. what you hate. Um, it's not by choice. It's not by choice. Well, speaking about iPhones, there's gonna be uh, Apple announced um, iOS six. Hooray! Hooray! I actually, I actually, you're gonna be impressed. I actually watched that keynote. Wow. Yeah. And how did you find that keynote? Very smug. <laughs> Very smug. <laughs> Very smug. How, well, how so? Because you know it's Apple, and Apple people are smug. But okay. uh, <laughs> especially you. Uh, no, no, it was it was interesting. Um, what stood out for me? Nothing really stood out for me except the maps was pretty cool. Uh, they're gonna be doing some something like uh, what's it called the the pay that payment system. What was that? Oh, about? the um, that's called um, something. Jesus, my goodness. Yeah, it, it it's called? it's like Google Wallet, isn't it or something? No, it's called Passbook. Um, that's what what it is that um because there's a bunch of apps like let's say you have the starbucks app you have the air canada app and whatever and you have like a bunch of like even a, when you buy baseball tickets let's say you can have an app that pretty much you people can scan your phone they pretty much just put everything into this one app and then you have everything there so if like your starbucks card instead of having the actual card you have an app and they give you a barcode and then it's just scan it just instead of having all these apps it's just in one place and everything is there so okay. you know exactly what you have. You know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, you still yeah. need to get the app, though. Yeah. You still need to get the app for the app to communicate to that app. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, that looks sad at all. Da, 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 da. Anyway. But, uh, but I understood that Tim uh, became a developer overnight, and he is now uh, ultimate developer extraordinaire. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I cannot He's discuss developer. anything about if I, even if I was a developer. I cannot discuss anything because they would be under NDA. Ah, uh, and, and I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, no. Skynet's got to Tim. <laughs> they got to him. I have no idea what you're talking about. They so, got to Tim. So, um, no, the, like from what I've seen on the internet, okay. um, they changed a bunch of other stuff too. Like, uh, like, the privacy se- like the privacy settings, they really went all out. So pretty much like every app, you can choose which app can have access to calendars, contacts, uh, location, uh, everything. You, everything needs a permission now for to access anything on your phone, which is good. Um, then there's also the stand, uh, do not disturb, which is pretty cool. So you don't get a phone call in the middle of the night. It just doesn't ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unless unless it, they, they call twice. Okay. Then, you have, then they'll, it'll ring that one time. That's a cool feature too. Um, the maps, the maps, okay. The maps are impressive, but I don't know how useful they're going to be after. Mm-hmm. What they did that was cool though is that instead of Google getting all the information about the transport, because in Google Maps now you can get like you know how what bus I have to take and what metro I have to take to get somewhere. Okay. Um, what Apple did is they don't have this data. They, there's already apps available per city for the for their uh, for their transport. They just get hooks into those apps through the maps. So like whatever app you have, like it's the pretty much the, the like the, the company that owns the, the the like the bus system is going to provide the information for Apple's maps. Okay, which is good because sure. what, what's more, what's better than the source, right? Yeah. So. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, do you think Do you think that iOS looks dated? Yes and no. Mm-hmm. Um, it is what it is. You know, it, it, it's. I don't know. Like, there's not. What else would you change to it? I wouldn't put widgets because that's not its style. But did, uh, widgets is an Android thing, right? It's an Android thing. Yeah. And live tiles is a Windows thing. 
Yeah, I like the life tiles. I, lo- I love life tiles, actually. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, yeah. But I, I, I wouldn't change anything. Um, it's just because something looks the same doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I suppose. I just think it. I don't. I'm not. I'm. I don't like the way it looks. It just looks to me old. Uh, well, if I may say, dated. I think it looks dated. I don't know. It, it, it's it's functional. For, oh, for, definitely, definitely. Like it's it's, it's it's totally functional. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That, that's what I think it is. That's what, that's mostly what it is. You know, they added a few things here and there that you don't see all the time, like the notification thing, which is totally a rip off from Android, but. I mean, it, it does help, you yeah. know. Um, Siri stuff, that, that that's a change, too. And you don't see that right away in the home screen. Um, there's a lot of things that they did add. It's just not on the home screen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but Siri's going to be cool. Siri's going to have... Uh, you could just ask, like, who's winning the Habs game right now? And, you say, and she'll uh, tell you. And she'll tell you. And if she know, understands you. She understands you. If she, she understands <laughs> NHL... Uh, NFL, Premier League, wow, MLS, cool, um, baseball, obviously, uh, I think cricket too. Cricket? I think so. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta like, it's for the Europeans. Siri, forget cricket. Yes, sir. Done. <laughs> Let's um, talk about the Nexus Seven. Yeah. So that was a cool announcement. Uh, yeah, Google and I.O. announcing a whole bunch of Android goodness, and they announced Jelly Bean. Yes, so they announced Jelly Bean. They announced uh, the gla- the, well, we saw Well, the glasses were already announced, but we saw the Google Glasses thing. Yeah, that was that was a um, that was a demo. Uh, I'm still confused about it, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so, I'm con- I'm sorry, I'm confused. And they also announced the Nexus Q. Wait, that, that just looks that like is, a hunk of shit. That it does look like a hunk of shit. It's like a Borg sphere of nothing. And yeah. I don't know. I. It's two three hundred dollars that thing. Anyway, okay. So wait, just before we get off track, so they announced that the Nexus Seven, which is a, a, an Asus tablet that has Nexus branding. Um, then they showed off more Google glasses. They showed off uh, the Nexus Q, which is a streamer Apple TV competitor, and they also showed off Jelly Bean. With a bunch of other things that go along with Jelly Bean. Um, what do we start with first? Jelly Bean, I guess? Uh, yeah. So Jelly Bean is 4.1, not 5.0. No. Um, which it is a point release, to be honest with you. Um, it, it's performance improvements. Mm-hmm. It is, it, it's supposed to be um, um, a more uh, tablet-y, right? It, it's, it's supposed to be tablet and it's also... Um, it's a lot. They they added they they really went to the kernel level and started like make things faster. It's a whole thing yeah. called Project Butter. Yes, oh, Project a Butter. Ridiculous name. Um, <laughs> ridiculous name. Anyway, but uh, like anyway, um, but it, they 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 made some enhancements like that for like you know like the common the common thing about Android is it is kind of laggy. Uh, they really addressed that. So they put, like, they, they really went all out. Like, one of the demos was, like, they put, like, a red camera in front of two phones, and they, like, measured, like, the frames lost between both of them. One was running Jelly Bean, one was running Ice Cream Sandwich. Okay. And it was, like, and they, when they just swiped to the, to the next uh, screen of apps, let's say. Yeah. They actually saw, like, it was a lot smoother on Jelly Bean than it was, like, on uh, the uh, on, uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. So, like, okay. they're showing you, like, we really improved it, and, like, yeah, it is, it is a lot faster. So that's going to help them there. Uh, they also did uh, another thing called Google Now, which is, like, it's, it's, it's not a Siri competitor, but uh, it is kind of, but not really. It's like, okay, everyone's going to do it now, but Google added their own style, so it's okay. It's not like S-Voice, which is a complete ripoff. <laughs> S-Voice. I don't like that name at all. S-Voice? Yeah. Why didn't they just call it Siri Voice and get it over with? Uh, did you ever see a screenshot for S Voice? No. Oh, I have to. Sh- you, I will show it in the show notes, but it's 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 something to behold. Uh, okay. Of how bad they copied. Um. Anyway, but 
So pretty much like, <laughs> pretty much you add uh, Google now is like it's pretty much asking Google for anything, and it'll actually answer you in a proper manner. So like, who's the president of the United States? And says the president of the United States is da 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 da, Barack Obama and da da da. Like, you know, you can ask like certain things like that, and it'll give you contextual information. It also logs into your web history, and it'll okay. and it'll start to present stuff before you actually ask for it eventually. So let's say if you're always looking for uh, hockey news, it will start to give you hockey news before anything. So you don't even have to actually say anything. So that's pretty That's smart. pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, Andrew's got some pretty good features. Yeah. And, and I am actually, uh, I actually pre-ordered the Nexus 7. That's cool. So the next, what's, the, yeah. what's the Nexus 7? The Nexus 7 is the Google branded tablet. Um, and it's like it's two hundred bucks for the eight gig version. I ended up I I ended up I took your advice, Tim, actually, and I got the sixteen gig version. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, it's uh, made by ASUS, uh, and it's a it's a it's a good little tablet for 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 the for the uh, price some for the for the price you you know you're paying. Yeah. Uh, you you get full fledged Android. You don't get uh, like uh, all that other crap that goes with like HTC, Samsung, and uh, and like Motorola and all that kind of stuff. It's the purest version of Android you're ever gonna get. Mm-hmm. And you you get like it's no compromises, right? You get it's Android and everything that Android could offer you up till now, and it's the latest version of Android. Exactly, and it's gonna get updated a lot faster. So you know and, what? Yep. It, it, I would never seriously. For my rule of thumb: always get a Nexus device because it'll always get updated. Uh, especially when nowadays, when everyone has their ice cream sandwich and we're so happy, and now that jelly bean out, and they have to like, damn it, I did it again. I'm not getting this update until like Christmas. <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah. Christmas. I'm being serious. It's probably going to come in Christmas for some of these phones. It's like ah, but. Um, no, the Nexus Seven. It's a seven-inch tablet, and it's it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Like, so um, I'm. The, I remember this thing here. Your your playbook. The playbook. Yeah. Uh, um, for those of you who have a playbook, I bought a playbook because it was one ninety nine. It was a good deal, and it was like a BlackBerry tablet and blah blah. blah. It was a good deal. Not anymore. It was a good deal at the time, but now I mean, if you're gonna get a uh, with the Nexus Seven, I mean, it's just like it's you should fi- just take these off the shelf. It's fifty bucks more, and you get more storage, and it's something that actually makes sense. Yeah, uh, exactly. Um, so what happened with me in this is that it just stopped. Where it it was just not. It's not was not working, and I, really? it was like freezing, and like things were happening, and before the two point oh update. This thing was good. It it it, it did what I want what I wanted it to do. Oh, really? It, the two point oh bricked it. It broke it. No, it didn't oh, brick it. It, it broke, broke it. it. Okay. Because when you brick something, usually you can't even yeah, access it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um. So w- w- I I just I don't know what the heck was wrong. It, was, it wasn't working. It was slow. Like uh, it took uh, fifteen years to load one web page. So prior to the to the two point update, it was fine. Like I, I would download apps or whatever, I'm, you know, I would try to download apps. Um, the web browsing was fine. It was okay. 2.0 update comes and st- stuff started gradually to suck. <laughs> like things would gradually suck more. And so I got fed up yesterday and I reformatted it. And now? I said, screw it. And, it, and it's back to normal. So if you if anyone has a, a a a BlackBerry playbook, throw it in the garbage. And if you don't want to, throw it in the garbage, <laughs> uh, I think you should. And you're having some problems with it. I think you re- you should reformat it because I reformat it and it's like, it's 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 better now. It's it's back to where it was. Uh, so yeah. Cool. All right. Well, there that was that was good advice mm-hmm. for the for the three people that have <laughs> me being one of them. <laughs> But uh, no, that's cool. Um, so yeah, the Nexus Seven actually is is a really cool tablet, and you know what? It's a cool tablet for someone who doesn't have an iPad. Mm-hmm. Because um, or who's someone one, who wants a seven inch tablet? What one exactly? Because once the Surface comes out, it's kind of irrelevant. Android. 
Android a tablet unless it's like super cheap. The next seven is the perfect like what it's an Android tablet has to be in order yeah. to be kind of relevant. Yeah, and, you know that that's that's what it is. You have to get someone that's not an iPad user and that's going to get a Surface and that's a pretty good companion device with the Surface because it, sometimes you just want to have like a device that just reads something on it and just yeah. do general research. The Surface is not going to be that kind of a device. But it, it and it, but the thing is, is that it, 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 it also can be that kind of a device, though. What, the Surface? Yeah. Yeah, of course. It can be. But, I mean, like, you're not going to pop this thing out of the, in, a, in a subway, you know? Like, no, God, no. Like, an, an, an Nexus you don't 7. Want, you don't want to pop your iPad on the subway as well. No, no, but you can pop your Nexus 7. Yes, you can. That, that would work. Because it's 20 bucks. It, it, well, that's exactly it. <laughs> uh, no, not only that, it's, it's small. It's not like yes. a big, gigantic thing. Like, look what I got. Yeah, someone steal hey. it. Yeah, I, I'm who I, I, I'm an iPad user taking pictures. <laughs> no, but you want to know something? Uh, there, are, there was a bunch of uh, there is a bunch of people in the metro that do take their iPads out. I'm like, how do you do it? I don't know. I I, I get I would get scared. No, I would never do that. <sighs> I would that. never. Yeah. No. So, uh, MacBook Pro with Retina display. Oh yes, that. That is okay. That is the best high end laptop available today. Point for now. This, okay, so let me get this ready here because I need to understand everything that's going to come out here. Um, okay, so the MacBook. You're going to buy it? No. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not in video. You know, if I was in video, you know, if I was. Uh, if I was someone that was, uh, uh, you know, in video and uh, graphic design and whatnot, I would yeah. get this because this is really amazing. So it's a, what they call the next generation MacBook Pro, which yes. um, they got rid of the Ethernet jack and they got rid of the DVD drive. Yeah. Because they try to make it as thin as possible. And actually, this thing is almost as thin as a MacBook Air. Okay. Um, and the reason why they took out the Ethernet jack is like, that's a pretty dumb thing. Why did they take out the Ethernet jack? And why did they take out the DVD? It's because um, the Ethernet jack is actually bigger than the actual MacBook Pro. Mm-hmm. So that's why they got rid of it. Yep. Uh, same thing with the DVD drive. It just doesn't make sense anymore. Uh, well, same thing with the, uh, remember when I freaked out uh, the uh, Lenovo Car- uh, X1 Carbon? Yeah, it's exactly it. Yeah. So, so um it's it's gonna have a uh, 2.3 gigahertz uh, quad core Intel i uh, core i7 with turbo boost up to 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, it has uh, I'm gonna get the display. Hold on. Uh, it, ha- it starts off with eight gigs of 1600 megahertz DDR3L uh, onboard memory. You can mm-hmm. go to uh, you can go up to 16 gigs on a laptop. Yeah. Um, it, it comes with. <laughs> It comes with 256 gigs of storage, but you can go all the way up to 768 gigabytes of flash storage. Mm-hmm. Um, it is uh, 1.8 centimeters in height by 35.89 centimeters, which is 14.13 inches. It's a it's a 15 inch screen MacBook Pro, so uh, that makes sense. And it only weighs uh, 2.02 kilograms, which is 4.46 pounds, which is pretty cool. Um, the graphics support, it has uh, onboard graphics f- to save um, for battery. And also it has a NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M with one gigabyte of GDDR3, DDR5 sorry, memory and automatic graphics switching mm-hmm. with dual display and video monitoring. It has two, it has na- oh, it has two Thunderbolt uh, ports, which is pretty cool. So... You can, ha- you can have a native mini display for outputs. You can have DVI. You can have VGA. This thing can be outputted to anything you want. It has a 720p um, uh, video camera. It has USB 3 with the Thunderbolt. Uh, it has a new MagSafe. It has a new S- SDXC a card slot. Um, and you can get um, Thunderbolt to gigabit Ethernet if you really did want it has a, I, I would want that. I would want that. Yeah, because we're we're in that field. So, yeah. Um, 802, 802.11n Wi-Fi uh, with BGN, all that fun stuff. Bluetooth 4.0, uh, 
Uh, all the rest we don't care. Up to seven hours of wireless web, which is pretty cool. And, okay, here's the screen. The screen is a 15.4-inch diagonal LED backlit display, uh, but with, the resolution is 2880 by 1800. That's crazy. That is insane. That That's means crazy display. That means that for video for for video people, it's crazy because that means you can natively view your 1080p video while you can mess around with it because you yeah. still have options. Yeah, that's it's unheard of. And you can actually have, and they I think I forget who tested it, but you can have, um, you can plug up to like four monitors or something like that. Yeah, something like that, something crazy like that. And, and, on a, on and a laptop too. On, on a laptop too, and it's like insane. Yeah, it's it's really insane. So I mean that, and that was the crap model. There's also a even more expensive model. So, but, <laughs> anyway, but the, the this model costs in Can- Canadian dollars two thousand two hundred twenty nine dollars. Holy, but Jesus! But you have to understand. Yeah, this is, you're this, getting a lot of stuff. This is meant for professionals. Like this, this is supposed to, like, replace the Mac Pro. Like, yeah, if you're pretty gonna, much. If you're going to get a tap, yeah, if you're going to get a, a Mac pretty Pro, pretty crazy system. This is the same thing. If you just close the top and plug everything else to it, it's that that's this is more powerful than the Mac Pro. Yeah. I, th- I think it is by default. I mean, the Mac Pro you can configure it up to like whatever, but I mean, this is like you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, this this laptop is if you're a professional video professional, get this. Even as a it has two sorry it has two USB three slots. With yeah, a, with that's a, true. A, and, and another HDMI. Yeah. So that you can have you can have your screen HDMI out and then two other uh, thun mini display port uh, screens. Oh yeah, I mean listen, if you're an, if, if you're a video editor, you uh, definitely get this. That's command central right there. Yeah, there's nothing else that that comes close to that in in, in terms of resolution. Uh, even, there's nothing else that you're gonna get. And even at that, like for storage wise, your two Thunderbolt ports. Each Thunderbolt port is. Yeah, you won't get the Thunderbolts. Uh, you won't get that right now either. But it's two Thunderbolt ports, ten gigabits each, yeah. and your USB. You have two USB three ports. That's five gigabits each. Exactly. So. So that's. You can pretty, plug in a lot of crap. But you can plug in a bunch of crap. There's even I don't know if you've seen Vince, but they have Thunderbolt uh, to PCI. Yeah, I've seen that. So you have a box, and you just plug a graphic card in it. Yeah. <laughs> and you can plug crazy. a graphic card to your like your your uh, your. Ah, oh, it's insane. Uh, that's nuts. I don't even know what the hell this world's coming to. What is this world coming to? Oh, it's, it's insane. So, yeah, th- I just wanted to mention that. that That is a crazy laptop. And if you're in video, you have to get this laptop. Yeah. It, it, this laptop you, you, Even I tell you go get it because and I'm not even a, an Apple Mac guy. Uh, if you're a video editor, you don't even look at anything else. Just spend the money and get this. Go buy this. Yeah. Because... You, uh, and you better get Apple Care with that, with that thing. Yeah. It's... it's <laughs> It's 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 a screamer, it's a screamer. If you want to go all out, you can get like the 2.6 gigahertz iCore with like 512 stock gig of RAM, uh, gigs of uh, storage, with uh, you know it's 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 insane. Yeah, this MacBook Pro is amazing, but I will never get it. <laughs> we have budgets, people. We, we have budgets. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. There we go. Done. Oh, and they got rid of the 17-inch. Yes. Which yeah. is ginormous. Have you ever seen a 17-inch MacBook Pro? Have you just ever seen a 17-inch laptop in general? They're big. They're huge. This thing is they're like, big. I'm they're, at this, I'm like, you, those are desktop that? replacement systems. Like, they're not meant to, to be portable. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not portable at all. <laughs> you know? So. No, not portable. So, yeah, that's it. That is the Apple stuff. Oh, and Mountain Lion is coming out this month. Bam. Yay. Hooray! Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, and, and then, yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm now, so happy right now. The last news I think we should talk about. Well, unless there's What's anything up? else. Wait, mm, was there anything else? Not on my front. I think we covered quite a bit of stuff today. It's just that t- today they announced uh, Office for general oh, availability. Yes. So now you can download Office right now and try it. You can install up to five PCs. Uh, you need a Hotmail account, a well, Live ID, 
and you can get it now and it's pretty cool. Um, nothing really changed in terms of functionality for Word and Excel and you know, Word and Excel kind of stay the same. Um, what did change though uh, was PowerPoint. PowerPoint got yeah. a lot more powerful with, in terms of presentation mode. And it looks a lot more like, if you're, if you're an Apple person, it looks a lot more like Keynote. Does Which, it really? Yeah. Key, Keynote was like leaps and years uh, uh, like from, from PowerPoint. But now PowerPoint's catching up and it looks really cool. Especially mm-hmm. if you have a Surface and you have PowerPoint. And yeah, yeah, it'll be really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also um, Outlook. Outlook looks pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, Outlook, they changed a lot. So it looks kind of like, um, it kind of does look like Windows, like the mail app in standard in Windows 8. It's kind of yes, like Yeah, it, it, it looks exactly like it. But So I don't know what the, well, I don't, that's weird. It's but for Windows anyway. 7. It, it looks good though. It looks good. It's, you know what, you know why I did include Outlook? Because even at that, okay, it, Outlook also now supports ActiveSync, which is exactly what's the native mail app in um in uh, in in in, in uh, Windows 8, I think the only reason why um, they included Outlook is for probably for tasks, and probably to just have um, uh, a, a, like kind of like a Metro-y style for Windows 7 users. Because you know, there's gonna be people that's gonna be holding out for like on Windows 7, and they're not gonna go to Windows 8. Yeah, definitely. There's gonna be a lot of people doing that. So yeah, so that's pretty much yeah. it. Um, Cool features about it is that you can also stream. So you, you can also stream the application to another PC without installing it. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything else looks the same kind of. But yeah. it's, it's just, it's, it's something interesting. It's just, it's exciting to know because, you know. It's new. It's Office. <laughs> and it's new. Everyone and uses it's And it, it looks nice. And you can do a lot of stuff with it. And you can make PowerPoints and Excel sheets and be very businessy. At the same time, look pretty cool doing it. That's it. It's more, <laughs> it's more touch friendly. That, that's pretty much what they, they added. Touch friendly. However, you're still going to be navigating with a uh, keyboard and a mouse, though. Yeah, pretty I much. Think. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Because like, you're not going to be typing on a... On a, on a you know, you're not going to be doing Excel stuff or PowerPoint. Maybe PowerPoint stuff you might get away with doing only touch only. No, Word too. But Excel stuff and Word stuff. Word, I don't know. Word, I think Word. that that's more of like a, a, a mouse keyboard kind of thing. I, th- I think Word you can still get away with it because you're just typing. Da, 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 da. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get away with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know yeah, I get away with it. It's more cloud based. There's a subscription now. You could you could uh, buy Office. Uh, you uh, through a subscription service, and uh, they're really pushing the cloud. Yeah. You could open files from SkyDrive. You could open files. That, that, you could you could uh, cool. you could um, edit PDFs, which is pretty cool. Wasn't yeah, it? that's cool. So like, they finally catched up with the Mac. And you can edit PDFs now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, no, it's. Um, it, it, it's it's cool, and they they do they did add like a bunch of like the SkyDrive stuff for normal users, and they also added a lot more into SharePoint, yeah, as well that's right. for enterprise stuff. Yeah, even though SharePoint is a big mess, but that's 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 just me. That's that's a conversation for another day. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, that that's Office. So you know what, you can get it now if you just search Office two th- twenty thirteen. That that's probably the best bet. Or Office 15, download. Yeah, you could you could download the uh, like it's a beta kind of. It yeah, it's a it's a preview. They don't like calling Pre- preview beta anymore. No, they're previews now. They're, preview. They're, they're preview. consumer preview, release preview. Yeah, so it's a it's a release preview of Office uh, yeah. 15, which this, is Office 2013. Yeah, and it's probably going to come out the same time as Windows 8. Yeah. Well, yeah. it has to for RT because it's in RT, so. There you go. Or um, it, 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 might, yeah, it might come out a bit after that. We don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see what happens. That's it. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted on that, people. There you go. So I think uh, I think that's it. I'm pretty satisfied. So if you lived under a rock, we pretty much like got you out of the rock. Yeah. And we've been under that rock. We just got out of that rock. We just got out of that rock right now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I guess that's it. So again, uh, if you're listening to this, thank you very much for being patient with us. 
We've been very, 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 very busy. <laughs> Thank very, you. Very, very busy. But we're back, and we're gonna try to. We're gonna keep doing regular schedule, uh, at least once a week for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, well, 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 everything is gonna be uh, okay. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> All right. So again, uh, TGTP one at hotmail dot com. That's our email address. It did not expire. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, and uh, like us on YouTube. We have. Uh, we, we what do we get to? Like three hundred and five views. Three hundred and fifty-five. Oh, total fifty-five. Views. There you go. Boom. Next mission. Four hundred. Four hundred. Next milestone. Four hundred. Twitter. You could Twitter. You could get us in the in the Twitter. In the Twitter. The TGTP one. Yep. Sick. At uh, at TGTP one. Yep. And uh, that's it. So um, that's it. So I'm Timothy Matthews. Vinny City. And uh, that's it. So take it easy, internet. Rock on. And uh, keep on rocking in the free world. Peace in the Middle East. Ciao. Ciao.